Hey guys and welcome to a brand new auto and this is going to be one of our un more unique ones. I'm back after, it's, just, it's hard to explain, I'm not even going to try to do it. I know I said more uploads but a lot of stuff happened. Ugh. The fact that I'm too tired to explain it and I can be bothered to make videos at 4 in the morning some, or some, it's a bad, it's, it's just a weird example. But uh, I'll try to keep back with it and let's just get into it. And that we go for the next part is going to be 50 likes, the usual low one. And anyway guys, let's just jump straight into this and this what if is going to be a what if Deku could use admin commands. And you're going to see what I mean by that the further we go into it. Anyway, let's start. <clears throat> We're going to start this what if as a usual. We have a ch childhood Deku who had been who's waiting for his quirk to awaken and he's in school and as back and as Bakugo's quirk is awakening himself as a child in front of the entire in front of the entire class Deku's eyes light up with a greeny blue glow and he reads up Bakugo's quirk explosion and starts reading out every single black person's quirk there that had one unlike the canon so of course he got sent to he, he went to the hospital and that doctor doesn't got a check up to get his quirk and he got told that he could read people's quirks and he, he was called a uh, quirk connoisseur, that's the quirk's name and it like, gives him information on it, like he got information and it's, his quirk name was called quirk connoisseur at least that's what the hospital thought his real power was that his quirk made the, the, his reality a, like a game, a system and he was a he was the admin of that the system. That's what his quirk was. And due to him being the main character, his world is everyone. So he kind of got the you just see how it is. Anyway, let's start with it. So we start with a so we jump to a kid step a kid deck who's still in middle school, and it's their last day. He isn't bullied, but at the same time he isn't liked by everyone. As he was the one he was the weird kid who'd mutter. And before the teacher was sitting there, he, everyone got the usual Bakugo treatment of getting yeah, told that he was better than all of them, he was going to do this, he was going to do that. Or well, Deku sat there reading books and taking notes. <clears throat> what Deku found weird about his quirk was, yeah, he could see other people's that like, quirks and information, but he was also different. It'd be weird, sometimes he could just think something and it would happen, not even meaning to do it. But Deku's kept this power a secret as he didn't want people to think it was insane. But that's when Bakugo goes over to Deku. <clears throat> still not, they're not best friends as they still had that incident at the log. But at the same time, Bakugo couldn't totally look down on Deku as he did have a quirk. And it was quite useful whether he wanted to admit it or not. And he puts his hand on, he puts his hand on Deku and picks him up and slams him into the wall. The only thing Deku can think is, get off me. Get off me. And he hears a voice in the back of his brain saying, Command activated. Almighty push. Or something like that. Or. No. Actually, command activated. Repulsion. And uh, Deku put his arm up and a weird energy flew out of his hand so he can go flying to the back of the. like to the other end of the class, smashing his head and, his head and knocking him unconscious. Deku looked at his hands and couldn't believe what was happening. What was that? Deku, at this moment, with the, the entire class watching him in shock, run to the window thinking it was his only way out, panicking. I just thought, please, 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 just let me go up to the mountains or something. And yet again, the voice in his head. Command activated, teleportation. And Deku opened his eyes and he was sitting at the mountain, his usual spot that he would hike up to when he was, when he was completely free. Suddenly all that fear and nerves that he felt before had just disappeared. So, as if that this spot was somewhere special. 
Deku sat there and was thinking, so whatever I think happens as to, if it's a command, it's like I'm the admin. And as Deku says that, an image pops in front of him. System evolution beginning. Deku didn't know what this was, he was confused. Little did he know, this was probably the most vital thing that would ever happen. This was what would awaken his quirk, give him understanding as it was not fully there. It was a quirk evolution. And Deku passed out, and when he awoken, he, he, it was different. His body was lighter, his vision was clearer, he was, he was just more energised. And it was almost like Deku's graphics card had got switched out, like a game. Like, it suddenly got a huge upgrade. Everything was better. And that's when Deku noticed something was in his vision, in the top right it said rank. And Deku just knew what to do. Open, open status window. And that's what happened. An image popped up in front of him. Deku was just bewildered. And with it, he started reading. Rank owner. And he just had a small status. Anything that is desired can be gained. He closed the status window and status window and was thinking more about his abilities. What could he do? But he chose to ignore this and actually went to sleep. He woke up and now with this new power that he... Oh yeah, he went home of course. Now with this new power, Deku decided he was going to figure it out, learn to use it and master it. And he will become a hero like he always wanted. Something weird happened after this quirk evolution. Deku knew more about his quirk than he did before. It was natural to him. Like, it was natural for everyone else around him. Bakugo knew how to create explosions. He didn't need to go through a tutorial. And as he said that, an image book pops up. Would you like to begin the tutorial? And Deku, for some reason, had trusted his guard and clicked no. And he says, okay. And, and the image popped up. Okay. Information being transferred automatically or instantaneously. When that happened, Deku finally realised that what his power was. He was the admin or owner of the world, of reality it seemed. <clears throat> but this didn't, he didn't let it get to his head like a lot of people would. He still wanted to be a hero, not for his own gain, but to help others. So he started training, learning more about this system he had, and learning more about just how crazy what he could do was. He wrote in, he put in fly, and he suddenly knew how to fly like it was a new quirk, and it was weird. It wasn't how he expected, like there'd be a cooldown. No, this was all his power now, he kept it. So Deku's strength, he had in strength and heartment sim similar to one for all, except that his maximum would be like a 1000%. He could fly, he had super speed, insanely intelligent. And he almost had like an AI that would take over if his if he was unable to. You guys name the AI down below, it won't have much interactions. But with this, eight months have passed, and Deku decided that he was finally going to start his field training. After gaining a bunch of powers that will, I'll explain more down like in the video, he goes to a beach and sees it in, covered in rubbish. And just thinks, huh, I remember when I was little, this beach used to be the f best place for me and my mum to go. Now it's just this dump. As my first shoot as a hero, I'm gonna clean this beach. Sorry if I sound really weird, guys, and my head's killing. And that's what he did. He activated, I'd say, 20% of his. I'm gonna just call, call it one fall. But it isn't, he hasn't. It's not, it's just strength. Actually, I'm just gonna say 10% strength enhancement. And he starts speeding around, easily demolishing rubbish and creating what seems to be an empty black hole type space dimension and sucked it in. All night he was walking past, looking really sullen and sad, as he couldn't find a successor. He, after all this time, the mirror kid that he saw after turns out he wasn't the one. And that's when All Might saw Deku clear on the beach. One sec, guys, gotta get my. Of course, I gotta have a can of Coke video. Anyway, um, 
and you saw and you saw Deku clean on the beach, and it was it's almost like a premonition, a vision. He could see Deku as the number one hero already, as if it was already happened, as if he's lived it over and over countless times. And that's when all my started approaching Deku. And Deku in his own mind, thinking more and more about the system, how he can be a great hero, how he can do this, how he can do that. Blanks out, goes into his own sort of world, clear on the beach more and more. He has no clue all might stand and literally right beside him. The only thing raising through Deku's mind man, man, oh sorry guys, the only thing raising through Deku's mind right now is, will I get into you? Am I strong enough? Will I, will I be able to be Kartran and all that? And though the slam attack on Bakugo didn't happen, as Deku didn't run into All Might to make him drop the ball, as he he left school in a panic. And if you're wondering why none of think has been brought up about this, Deku, they all played it off as it was a random account of Bakugo's explosion misfired. They no one knows except for Bakugo has a feeling that something funny was going on. But he's as he's sitting there training, clearing the beach, nearing the last scraps. The only thing he can think is, is he good enough? And he's panicking. He, no matter how strong he is, he can't seem to accept it himself. He's probably a, he's a god level compared to everyone else. But at last, he finally noticed the golden two golden spikes standing next to him, and his jaw drops, and he sees next to him. He goes, "All Might." <clears throat> of course, All Might does his usual hero laugh, saying, "Yes, young Midori, or oh, not young Midoriya. Yes, young one. It is I, All Might." And that's when All Might realizes his fatal mistake. <laughs> Him being so lost and full after being sad about not finding successor, he's reached his time limit. And he holds his stomach as he coughs up blood. Deku rushes to him until smoke explodes away from All Might, leaving a stick figure of a man. Deku suddenly thinks imposter, but it, it sort of soon gets like cleared out what actually happened. And Deku gets co- told about All For One and All Might's quirk. And how he wants to be the successor. Deku, of course, accepts this. But it's weird, nothing really happens. He just felt, I don't know, clear headed. But one thing that he did feel was a new desire burning up inside him. As if the as if one for all itself was sentient, carrying over its own force. And that's when it happened. Was that a glitch? It just glitched out and was static. Deku's vision. It was it was like what you see in a video game where there was nothing loaded and it was just error and glitches. Deku didn't know what's happening. His vision was breaking, going dotty, and then it finally glitched. And the and the image propped up. System locked shut down. We have shut down for an update. Please please stand by. And Deku laid there in darkness for days. And I mean days, like I'd say two weeks went by. So when he finally sitting there, nearly insane, gone insane from boredom, the message popped up: "Update complete, rebooting now." And Deku's eyes slowly opened as he was laying there in hospital with his mum laying next to him. He could clearly see the bags under her eyes from where she's been crying and probably up for nights and ends. But something was weird. Deku didn't feel stronger. Nothing was different. It was let's just say unexpected yes he might have not got stronger but his understanding of the world his meaning was just unparalleled and now we're going to time skip to get to UA unknown to you guys the system update carried something unintended and unknown but we're going to get into it Deku pulls up, Deku walks into the UA gate, muttering to himself, just like the usual Midoriya would. And oh my god, I keep getting a notification, and can't just go. Oh, I keep getting a pop up about Microsoft Family, like, go away. And Deku walks into UA, still thinking about whether or not he's going to pass this test. Is he good enough? And he's lost in his own fault. And he falls. You are a brown haired girl who's rushing towards him, reaching out. Just to see that Deku's body fixed himself as if physics didn't count to him. But in Deku's head he knew what happened. Auto recovery. A skill that Deku's managed to make that not only make, makes him heal at an extraordinary rate. 
His body has a natural reaction and instinct that will fix any problem it's fixed and on its put in on its own. <clears throat> this is one of Deku's favorite skills, as he can literally live a carefree life while he's, while at the same time he's probably living the most like active one. And Yurak is shocked, and she just starts introducing herself, saying hello like the usual. But Deku has control over his emotions. Yes, this is due to the system and the school he made. And he just greets her like a usual person and bows and carries him walking. Yurika, instead of thinking like what a nice and kind person, just thinks of, wow, he's special. She doesn't know what it is, but she can see a glow coming from Deku. A dark power, not dark, not evil, I mean like a strong, like deep power. And as she stared at it, she couldn't get, as she stared longer and longer, she couldn't get the feeling it's that, it, that this power was staring back at her. But Deku of course aces the test, written test in like two minutes and walks up to the front and give, puts his paper down in front of present Mike saying done and he points out grammatic errors made by Nezu put in there for extra points which should be basically impossible to correct Nezu due to his, we all know he's insanely smart. And of course Lee, when this happens Ida stands up trying to mock Deku and like call him out for wasting time and that if he doesn't want to actually like be a hero and use the valuable time given from UA then leave and that golden green I'm not golden I mean blue green glow that we've, we've only ever seen once in Deku's eyes appears again he has control over it he made this power seems more tamed more of, more of his own and the ground beneath him tracked as he was releasing an unnatural pressure and told him if he really thinks he's joking about just wait till the next exam and we'll see who really is a joke and then he leaves we get to the we get to the start gate where present mike is doing the countdown three two deku gets impatient and rushes in and everyone starts yelling he's cheating and just for present mike to yell back even louder in a real in a real situation you wouldn't wait for a countdown to rush in and save people or fight the villains would you and everyone after hearing that rushes in as well. Deku is sweeping the robots, using all sorts of power, shocking the teachers, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, 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 super strength, some sort of manipulation over matter and gravity. What they're watching now seems to be the second coming of Christ. They couldn't understand this, and all might just sit sat there with a smile. Just knowing that the the future of the hero society was bright. Deku was easily sitting on four hundred points right now, shocking everyone around him, until they finally released the zero pointer. When they when they released it, the error systems popped up on their screens. They've lost control over it. The, sh the robots start speeding through the city, crashing over buildings, nearly crushing people, and the heroes are rushing out to the field to stop it. But they're too late. The brown haired girl that we saw before is laying there on the ground as the rope is about to stamp on her, stuck under, stuck under rubble. Deku sees this and smirks. He just says to himself under his breath, Time to be a hero. And he, and it was almost like a sonic boom of speed. Deku flies towards the robot, tearing through it. But he's not done. He clenches it, he like stretches out his hand and, li and lifts it, points towards the rubble. Everything just freezes there, it's almost like it was a pocket of torn time. And Deku clenches his hands as all the rubble and the like robot bits start coming into a center. Compression the compression until it's basically nothing. Just a small orb. And Deku looked to the into the suns like, not into the suns like into the distance when there was literally nothing there. Well, for, at least for everyone else or something there, but Deku's eyesight had increased hundreds of folds, and he was just staring at Shigaraki. Unknown to him, unknown to Shigaraki, Deku can see him, and he puts up his finger with the small metal bead in his hand and flicks it. This flies at light speed and breaks into the villain base, tearing through Shigaraki's chest, actually puncturing a lung. And Shigaraki lay there with just torment and anger in his heart ready to kill whoever the hell sent that anyway guys i know it was a bit of a weird story i do not feel well but i hope you do enjoy if you 
comment down below if I made it weird. If I did, I'll delete it. Peace out, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Share with friends and family. And yeah, subscribe. I'm hoping this blows up. You don't. This video, ever since I thought up with this idea, I just thought, ooh, that could bang 100 million views. <laughs> anyway, peace out, guys. Enjoy. Bye.